CW is planning on pre premiering a new reality show that they will call The Hunt. And it's basically based on The Hunger Games, where, um, you know, it will feature 12 teams of two young adults who will be dropped into the wilderness without food, water, or shelter. They must compete against the other teams and challenges that utilize survival and hunting skills. While the contestants are not encouraged to kill each other, oh, thank God, they must capture members of other teams during gameplay. Are they not merciful? They, they're not letting them murder one another. Okay, terrific. Now look, you gotta understand something. I, I'm not a bah humbug guy. You know, I like television, and uh, and I know it gets a little dirty sometimes, and and there, nothing wrong with it overall. Like so, for example, when Survivor was coming out, Ben Mankiewicz said, "Oh man, that sounds terrible. Pitting people against one another, their basis nature. I hate it." I was like, "No, I, I love it, man." This is a test of willpower, it's a test of intelligence, there's a lot of strategery in there as George W. Bush would say. So I like Survivor. Uh, I, now there's other things I don't like, like Fear Factor I think goes too much with the drinking the goat semen, etc. I got no interest in that, it just doesn't float my boat, right? This is going too far. This is not Survivor, okay? They're, they're playing with fire here. I don't know what it entails to capture people, but that sounds a little dangerous. And the younger contestants you have, the more likely you are to get a Lord of the Flies kind of situation. Now I know there's cameras there, they're not actually gonna hurt each other, I hope and I suspect, but you're getting closer and closer to the line. There's physical contact involved, and the younger you are, generally the more immature you are. I mean, and again, with the 18-year-old contestants, it sounds like porn, like barely legal. I mean, if we could throw the kids in there, we would. We can't, so we're going barely legal here, 18 year olds, and we hope that they do something incredibly stupid to one another. As, aside from the physical uh, contact, uh, it's very similar to so many other reality shows that you see. Because, uh, first of all, if you are just dropped into the wilderness and you're supposed to fend for yourself, that does take uh, a huge degree of intelligence. Uh, you have to have your survival mechanism in you know, full force. So I, th I think that it could be interesting to see how these people survive in that kind of setting. But I think most game shows and reality shows like this have the same premise. Let's find people who really, really need the money and let's exploit them, right? And, Which, and by the way, would be pretty damn close to the real Hunger Games. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's, it's, a lot of the shows use someone's skill and intelligence, like Top Chef comes to mind, right? These, these are very skilled, great chefs, um, but they're fighting against one another because they're desperate to start their careers and they need a little money to start it. I mean, I know there's Top Chef Masters, that's a different one with already established chefs, but it's, it's all about, oh, I need a chance, I need a chance, you know, someone to believe in me, someone to fund me, and, and in this case, it's like, they're, they're fighting one another for prize money. And, and in the book, Hunger Games, you know, they will enter their names into the lottery to get picked more if they can get more brain, meaning more mm -hmm. food, right? So the more desperate you are, the higher chances are that you get picked for the Hunger Games. So we've kind of recreated that. Now, nobody's getting killed, but it's a contest of usually deep humiliation. Mm -hmm. And look, I like fights, and I like contests of will. So there's a line there, right? I'm not saying don't do any contests, don't, I mean, and the chefs aren't gonna hurt one another, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. I think it's perfectly fine. And I, like I said, my line is pretty far in. I think Survivor's fine, et cetera. But, we keep pushing it, and what the producers think is good television is conflict, right? But extreme ugly conflict. It started mild and reasonable, and it's now gotten to the point where if people aren't at each other's throats, ah, uh, because everybody's gotten humanized. They already saw all the other stuff. They need more, they need more, they need more crack. You know what, so you know, it's, it's, it's getting ugly, man. What's amazing to me as we're talking about this and how usually it's people that are you know financially disadvantaged that decide to join these shows, I thought of like, the Real Housewives, for instance, right? Now, I don't know if it's reality uh, that they're wealthy, but most of them are certainly portrayed as extremely wealthy, like the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And that gets really ugly. And I don't understand why you would enter that scenario where people are constantly revealing very, very personal details about your life. Two reasons, you mentioned the first one, which is money. People are desperate for that. But the bigger drug is fame. Which is amazing. I would never do that for fame. Expose all my like dirty laundry and stuff. Yeah, and uh, look, and it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, everybody's hooked on the drug fame. I gotta get it, I gotta get it, I gotta be famous, I gotta be somebody, I gotta be somebody. So uh, I'm not surprised that they'd go to any lengths to get on television. 
And so we're eventually going to get a show. I don't know if it's this one or if it's going to be another one. Eventually, some show is going to do some serious damage. Might be physical. Uh, we've already done the emotional damage. We've already done the psychological damage. We've already done the cultural damage. At some point, I guess I'm saying it's going to get physical, and they're going to say nobody could have seen this coming. 